Hi everyone and welcome to my new video. In this video I'm gonna share with you one great project that my friend Bill and I have made. So we wanted to make a GPS tracker. So okay there are a lot of GPS trackers that are available online and they are cheap but our GPS tracker is different than the cheap ones that are available online. We wanted to make a GPS tracker but we didn't want to be dependent on a GSM connection. That means that our GPS tracker can be used on the mountain, for example, on hunting to track dogs, where there might not be a GSM coverage available. So our GPS tracker uses Solora for communication between the transmitter and the sender, and that means that we can use it on the mountain. We found some GPS trackers that use the same method as we use, but they are pricey. But also we wanted to experiment a little bit, spend a great time working with electronics, with programming, and we decided to do this project. So let's first see the test. We went to our local park and tested out the project. It worked without any problem. So we had a great time working and testing out our project. The project is consisted out of an electronic part that Bill created. So everything related to the electronics and how he connected it and what modules he used, you can refer to his video. I'm going to share with you the link down in the description or up here in this video and an Android application that I created. And after the test, I'm going to share with you the technologies that I used and how I created the app. And after that, I'm going to share with you how we can use this app with your modules. Uh, this idea is great. So if you want to kind of track uh, dogs on hunting. So in this situation, I'm going to be the dog. <laughs> <laughs> And here you can see this is Slavko currently and this is the pad that he took and I'm still here standing with the phone that's my location and you can see that he is going this direction he's gonna make a circle around the park and come back here again to join me and the whole communication as I said before is done through the LoRa board so this system is really we think it's really awesome when you need to track something but you don't want to have a separate GSM with a separate uh, plan and separate payment but instead you can use LoRa and in the mountain for example this can be very helpful because there are, might be places that you don't have the reception and you can have the offline map using the GPS location on your phone and then the GPS location on the tracker and you can track as Slavko said your dog for example or any colleagues that you have that are together with you on that mountaineering trip or on that bicycle ride that's out in I don't know somewhere these are the dots so some of them are not close together because I tried to ride faster at that, uh, at that part. So let's see how the whole thing works. We have a transmitter and a receiver. On the transmitter side, we have a microcontroller that is connected with a GPS module and a LoRa module. The microcontroller gets the data from the GPS module and through the LoRa, the module sends the data. On the other side, we have a receiver or another microcontroller that is connected with a LoRa module and it gets the data and through serial communication sends the data to the phone. I wanted to just roughly show you the story and how everything works about the connections and the code and the modules that Bill used. Please see his video. I did the app, so I'm going to share with you the technologies that I used to make the app. So we wanted to have an app that was going to be able to display the data sent by the microcontroller. 
So we displayed the current location of the phone or our location using a blue marker along with 10 points that the thing that we are tracking has gone through and the current location of the thing that we are tracking. Our dog, for example, or our, our colleague. So it doesn't matter. To build the application, I used Unity. I'm not saying that it is the best way to create an Android application, but I've got experience with Unity and I didn't want to spend a lot of time learning something. So I wanted to just start and create and explore. Uh, so I like Unity because there are a lot of people sharing knowledge. So there are a lot of, uh, the, the community is huge and it is easy. So you can start and create something, can build it without any problem. I needed to get the data from the microcontroller, so we wanted to use a serial communication, and for that I used this plugin. So I, unfortunately, I couldn't find a plugin that is free. So if you've got one, share with me. So I'm gonna use it in my next video and test it out. And once I got the data from the microcontroller, I needed to display it on the map. So I wanted to create a map. So I used OpenStreetMap. I implemented using Leaflet. And after that, I needed to display it in Unity. And I used the plugin and the method that I showed you a couple of videos before. It was just the HTML, CSS, JavaScript thing. So I displayed it in Unity using the method that I explained in that video. So that's basically it. You can use the same application and create your own GPS tracker with your own modules or the modules that Bill used. So you just need to use the application and the structure, the serial string that my application expects. Use an OTG cable or an OTG connector to power up the board with your phone and to be able to exchange data uh, between them. And that's it, you can create your own GPS tracker. So leave a link down in the description from the app that I created and I published it on Play Store. And also I'm gonna leave a link from the GitHub repo with an example code that you can use. So you can just change the data with your real data and create your own GPS tracker. So that was everything that I've got for this video. So thank you for watching and I hope that you liked the project. So if you're interested in this kind of video, subscribe to my channel. It means a lot to me. So thank you and bye bye.